Welcome to Bunnyfish Crafts. I'm your host Heather, known as Bunnyfish on Revelry, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is Sunday, the 15th of March, 2020. This is episode 10. So this is a strange week, yes? For many of us, the COVID-19 is kind of a big deal. And here where I am in Michigan, Michigan has declared a state of emergency. All schools are closed through um, the beginning of April. And so, yeah, that's a little bit strange. Um, my library closed until the end of, or the beginning of April also. Luckily, I went on Friday and picked up a bunch of things. So I have a feeling that the next three episodes are going to be pretty heavy on crafting content because there's only so much cleaning that can be done around the house. And don't get me wrong, there will be cleaning because we're all going to be stuck here. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a thing. But there's going to be a lot of crafting and reading, which is what this podcast is all about. So I don't have anything finished. Is that true? I think so. Um, I did block the cog in the machine shawl, but it's my car. I didn't, I forgot to bring it back in. So I'll show you that at some other point. So works in progress. I have a lot of them going and I've made pretty good progress on them in the past week. So first up, I will show you something that wasn't started last week. These are a pair of design socks, but as you can see, well, maybe you don't know what you're looking at, but this is um, Intarsia in the round. And I'm going to pull out the cuff. It's only 10 rounds, but I will be happier with how the finished product looks if I cast on the contrast color and then cast on the main color instead of casting on the main color and then casting on the contrast color. It's a small little thing, but it makes a really big difference in the overall look of the pattern. And I remember the first time I did not look at my notes. For when I started this, I was like, oh, I remember how to start this, no big deal. In my notes, it says to do that because I started the first sample the exact same way, realized I had to change with the color, the cast on order. So this is gonna be ripped out and re-knit for next week. The yarns that I am using for this are 716 Knit, 716 Sock, in, did I, Put that I did. I found the tag. Um, in the 716 Tari base, which is 90% superwash merino, 10% nylon, it is self striping. That's what this um, right here stands for. And then it is Slayer Pride Parade version 2.0. So those socks will be restarted <laughs> next week. Um, the other color, I don't know what this colorway is. I know it's 716. It feels like her sock base, 716 sock. It was a mini skein that I got from her yarn truck. So I'm going to pair those together. I still don't know what I'm going to use for the contrast. Um, I have this mini skein of white from her yarn truck but I might use the Orchard Slope from Leading Men Fiber Arts. I have yet to decide for sure. And that is in my um, Hooked by Happenstance Mermaid bag, which is so cute and I love. Oh, also, oh, not this one, lies. Uh, this yarn hug is an old pair of Mara leggings. I was going to tell you it was made by someone, but it wasn't. It was made by me. Project down. So in my um, Silver Shed USA ZK 2016 bag, I have the, what is this, trough. Oh my goodness. Um, so less impressive work than the first week, but still progress on the poncho. I did this much right here. 
The yarns that I'm using are Leading Men Fiber Arts Orchard Slope and Queen City Yarns on the Dock. And then this, this is a yarn hug made by Yarntasia. Haley did, in fact, supply me with the information. The needles are the recommended needles in the pattern. All of my socks are being knit on US size 0 2.0 millimeter needles. This is not a sock. This in my fish bag is the, oh, well, that's fine. Um, this is the crusting mitts pattern. You can kind of see, oh yeah, you can kind of see that going on. Um, modified and I'm making it into leg warmers for Patrick's niece, one of them. Um, so this is where I was last week. So I knit from here down. This is how much I did yesterday. I am planning to vlog for the next three weeks. Probably not posting daily. Probably every several days, maybe once a week. Um, because if you're sitting at home, like me, and most of your video consuming is podcasts, um, I'm unfortunately all caught up. So I assume some people will also be all caught up. So an option of something to watch. So yeah, that's how much I did yesterday. I think all of the other projects, no, one other project will also have a marker from yesterday, but this is from last week. The yarn that I'm using is Knit Pick Stroll Fingering it, Glimmer, not Stroll Fingering, Stroll Glimmer. It is a fingering weight yarn in Sapphire Heather. And the way that I modified the crusting is crusting is a pattern based on a two by two rib, and this is based on a one by one rib. I only did that because I did a one by one rib for the cuff because I hadn't decided what sort of pattern, if any, I was going to use down the leg. And then I was like, oh, crusting would be cute because it's a wave pattern and it's a wave leg warmer. So that is that project. I also have this right here in my Stitched by Jessalu bag in my Yarntasia yarn hug. I have some Humble Bumble fibers in Be Gay Do Grimes and I am making the Under Armour pattern. So last week I was here and I believe that that was, oh yeah, that was definitely right before the heel. So I didn't have the heel in I remember because I put the heel in on Wednesday at knit group and apparently I was chatting too much because I did the um, I was through the gusset so I finished the gusset before knit group I wasn't quite finished with it last week and I picked up the wrong number of stitches not picked up I worked the wrong number of stitches before I started my heel turn so because it's a toe-up sock um, so when I finished the heel flap, the, my dog, she, well, my sister's dog is in the crate and my dog is outside. My sister's dog is, um, upset that my dog is outside without her. So Dahlia, stop. So when I finished putting the heel flap on, I had I'd worked all the stitches on the right side of the heel and I had five stitches left on the left side of the heel. <laughs> so I got to the parent pickup line and I ripped it out and I redid the heel and look at how fun that yarn is in this heel. And now I am working up the leg. So this sock will be finished next week for sure. A lot of progress will be made in the coming week. In my beautiful sister bag, I have the first 
in the pair of the um, ribbed socks for my boyfriend. So last week I was here. I worked all the way down here. And put in a fish lips kiss heel, but I did it in garter stitch because I was feeling lazy. And I think I put it in at work and I didn't want to have to worry about purling. So yes, here is the first sock and it looks really tiny because it's ribbed, but it will fit his feet, which are just a little bit bigger than mine. And I have the second one, another yarn hug. Um, I have the second one cast on and I did the first round maybe. No, I did the first, yeah, I did the first round and I started the second round. I can tell by my stitch marker that's counting for me. So these socks, um, I'm not following a pattern. I started off with 65 stitches. It is, um, I don't have the tag. It is Regia 6 ply, so it's a sport weight. The, um, I cast on 65 stitches. I did 65 rounds of two by three ribbing. And then I did a decrease round where I went to two by two ribbing. And then I did, I think it's 52 stitches at that point. It's either 52 or 56. Um, you know what? I'm going to do the math really quick. 52 stitches. So I did 104 rounds on the leg. And then I did an additional 10 rounds. No, an additional four, not four, an additional eight rounds um, where I switched to garter stitch for the back of the heel so that the ribbing wouldn't be going down onto the heel. I could have just done the ribbing. I decided not to. And then fish lips kiss heel and then socket for the foot. That was another 52 rounds and then a toe which is my standard toe that I use in all of my sock patterns. So here's the first sock. The second sock is started. It will get worked on at some point. Now let me go retrieve that project that fell off the pile. Well, this is unpleasant. In my Girl Cave bag bag, which is now wet because my son put a cup on my desk which he's not supposed to do. And I had water in it. And when this project fell over, it took out the cup with it. So my bag is now wet. My urn is not though, so that's nice. Good job bag, doing your job. I have my tri time hat, which is a pattern by me. And I am loving combination of the yarn and the texture. Oh no, it's wet right here. Eh. Okay, it's fine. It'll dry out. It's just water. He'd be in so much trouble if it was something other than water. <sighs> He's not allowed to, tangent, He's not allowed to drink things except at the table. That's the official rule. But like two months ago, he had milk on the table, on this coffee table right here, where which is where I keep my projects. And the dogs were playing and knocked over the milk and it spilled all over all of my stuff. Which is why this tag right here has this. Because milk got on the tag and the dye bled a little tiny bit, so I had to wash this yarn before I could cake it up to make this hat. So that's frustrating. But anyway, here's try time. Um, this is where I was last week. So I have put on, I was right at the end of the first repeat and I am in the middle of the fourth repeat. So making really good progress. I'm supposed to have six repeats and then crown decreases. So it's going on. Look, my Mara leggings yarn hug is now wet. Take that off so that can dry. Ugh. The yarn is only damp on top, so I can put a new yarn hug on it and it should be fine. It's only damp right here, not on the yarn sides.
frustrating. So I have also been working on the spinning for Karen. I finished the second turtle of fiber and I've started the third and I am not working too hard or too fast on this but you know I am going to be home for three weeks so maybe I will make it a goal to finish this in those three weeks. This will be my last goal. I want to finish all of my active whips right now. Um, not the chain reaction afghan but finish all of the other ones and then like all of my knitting whips and then I will do the spinning hopefully finish that in that time too um I did have a finished object I forgot about it it is in a box behind me and I'm too lazy to get it that little slipper booty the booty that I made last week for the baby a baby I don't remember maybe it was two weeks ago out of the velvet yarn I was making two sets of booties I have both sets complete now so that's finished but I don't feel like getting it right now and the pattern I used was vanilla mint I also put in some work on the first square in the chain reaction afghan so I have the second square finished, except I have to put a border on it to make it 12 inches. Um, and then I have this one right here, which is the actual first square in the pattern. But I didn't like how it was turning out, so I had to try it a few different ways to get it to do what it was supposed to do. In the pattern, these four squares are four different colors so then these would be four different colors um, these first four single crochet rows are four are the four different colors and then I added a couple more crochet rows and then you go into this um, V stitch edging so I'm on that and I will go until it's almost 12 rounds and then I'm going to put on another round of um, single crochet in the white or maybe in the aqua I don't know how much I'm going to have when I get to 12 inches I don't know how big this is because I am NOT a good spatial guesser of space do I have a oh, I have a tape measure right here I can measure it So it is about 10 inches. Do -do -do -do. You see that? When I measure things, I like to um, I like to hang them, like hold them up and hang them like this, because I find that um, when I lay them flat, things get shifted and they don't always necessarily lay flat. I find for me that that gives me a truer measurement of how how long things are and how they're going to how long they are when they're going to be hanging on your body or for a blanket you know when they're spread across the bed that sort of thing so 10 inches I have two inches to go on that and I have plans to make this and then one square a week for the next three or over the three weeks because I'll be home, so may as well take advantage of that time to work on the chain reaction afghan, right? For reading for the week, um, I finished Star World, which was really, really good. So the two main characters have a falling out, which was pretty dramatic, but um, really made for good story and it was a falling out in not a in a way that made sense and wasn't done just to drive action in the book so I really really liked Star World um, I am reading currently I'm listening to The Wizard of Oz on audiobook because I've never read it and I didn't realize that Dorothy was um, actually like a little girl not the teenager 
who is in the movie. I know that they tried to like make her look much younger, but she's actually like a little, little girl in the, um, in the stories, like not much bigger than in the story. She's not much bigger than the monk munchkins, she says. So I am reading in physical form, Beyond Beautiful, which is um, very, very good. And it's short, but it has response questions that the author recommends that you do as you read, like actually write them down. So I have been in my journal, which is why it's taking longer to read this than a typical 100 70 ish page book would typically take me, but I'm nearly finished. So this is where I am right now. That's all I have left. My plan is to finish this book and the other book that I'm currently reading today. I had less than a hundred pages to go between the two of them when I woke up this morning. I've not read any more of this because I stopped at some um, reflection questions last night. Uh, I wrote so much yesterday that the muscle right here was sore. So I felt that I probably shouldn't answer those reflection questions last night. So I'm going to answer them today and finish that book. I'm really, really close. Now I wanna know how many pages I have left. I have 14 pages to go in this book. And then I'm also reading Feast of Souls and I only have 30 pages left in this. I have read this this morning. Um, so the schools are shut down and they didn't have a contingency plan for what to do should they shut down because why would they? Um, this is not a thing that happens regularly. It hasn't happened in my life. I'm only 34 so I guess that's not like a super long time. I lost my train of thought because this one was outside and decided she needed to lose her mind because there's a dog who lives down the street and I don't know why Molly is obsessed with her. She just is. So yeah. So there was much, she's a coon hound mix. So she's got the hound brew. So she was brewing outside. So you can't be outside if you're going to yell at people. Anyway, the schools don't have information yet about how they're going to proceed for three weeks because um, in school timeline, this is a really bad time to be missing three weeks of school. State testing was set to start at the beginning of April, so I'm not sure how they're going to move that around. Um, so yeah, we don't know what sort of instruction they're going to get from the school. However, I've decided that we are going to read every day. Normally we read for 40 minutes on a given day. Um, Patrick just got home. He was, he had to go do something for work. So now Molly is complaining. I'm just going to keep talking because he's going to be in the building in a minute and that's going to be one more body that I have to work around. So anyway, um, we were reading for 40 minutes every day as a family. So now we're going to do three 30 minute readings for the next three weeks. I've decided that's what it's going to be. So I'm going to be reading a lot of books. They're going to be reading a lot of books. So I'll have a lot to talk about in the reading section. Okay. I'm going to let you go before he gets inside. I will see you in a week. Bye. Stay healthy. Stay safe. This is a yarn hug by my, made by the